All right, let's take a few minutes and talk about Excel's Scenario Manager tool, and specifically how this tool can be used to quickly compare different model outputs. So the Scenario Manager, which you'll find in your Data tab under the What If Analysis options, essentially allows you to save and quickly access specific combinations of preset cell values. So let me show you an example here. If we drill into that Scenario Manager option, we'll see a list of any predefined scenarios that we've created. In this case, I have four. And what happens when you add or create a new scenario from scratch, you're basically telling Excel, I want to define a scenario based on this specific set of cells. In this case, I have three of them. I've named one cell percent down. I've named a second cell interest rate and a third cell term length. Now, a quick tip here, you don't have to give your cells names. This could just say H7, H8, H9. I find that naming those cells helps make this process a bit more uh, intuitive and user friendly. So essentially, we're telling Excel that we're defining a scenario based on particular values for each of these three cells. In this case, I've named the scenario 20% 30 years. And for that scenario, I want cell one to change to a value of 0 0.2, 20%. I want cell 2, the interest rate, to change to a value of 0 0.0475 or 4.75%. And I want it to change cell 3, the term length, to 30. Now, once you've defined and named that scenario, you can quickly view it and automatically change those cells to the values that you've configured. Now, this is very often used for modeling exercises, which allow you to fix different combinations of inputs, like these three cells here, the down payment, the interest rate, and the term length, in order to calculate the effect on a certain formula-driven output, in this case, the cash to close on the property and the estimated monthly expenses. And if we were to continue this process and create three additional scenarios, then with a click of a button, we can quickly compare four different outputs based on those four combinations of our inputs. So as you can see, great tool for quickly evaluating the impact of different combinations of input values. Now, common use cases, this is often used for building forecasts that are based on several variables that may change, like seasonality, interest rate, etc., or modeling several potential outcomes in cases where uncertainty or risk is a factor. For instance, creating a scenario for low risk, medium risk, or high risk to predict your stock portfolio returns. So with that, let's jump into Excel and create some of these scenarios for ourselves. All right, so go ahead and open up your pro tip workbook. If you're following along, head to Scenario Manager in the purple analytics tip section, and let's go ahead and link straight out. Here we've got a property cost calculator. Now, for those of you who've been following along with the entire course, this may look familiar from our formula auditing tip, but basically we're evaluating two key numbers here, the cash required to close on the property and the estimated monthly expenses, both of which are determined by a number of factors here in columns G and H. Purchase price of the property, the tax rate, different loan conditions here, which we're gonna be focusing on in this demo, as well as other factors like utilities, insurance costs, fees, and so on. Now, you'll notice that I've named each of these cells using the name box right here to the left of the formula bar. So percent down, interest rate, and term length. And again, that just will make it a bit more readable, a bit more intuitive once we start creating some scenarios. Now, the idea here is to essentially preset a number of combinations for these three values in H7 through H9 in order to quickly and easily determine the impact to our key outputs here. And there are a few ways to do that. We could turn these into data validation dropdown cells, you know, containing a limited list of options and have users manually select those combinations. But in this case, we really have three or four combinations that are most likely and most realistic. And to kind of preset those combinations, the scenario manager will be a great tool to use in this particular case. So let's go ahead and select the three cells that will be part of our scenario, H7, H8, H9. We're gonna go into our data tab, drill into the what if analysis tools in our forecast section and click scenario manager. So from here, we're gonna define four different scenarios for the purpose of demonstration. The first will be 20% down at a 5% interest rate 
for 30 years. So let's go ahead and add this one. Now you can give it whatever name you want. In this case, I'm not going to be very clever. I'm just going to actually type in what we're using for our inputs. So 20%, 5%, 30. And since we've selected H7 through H9, Excel already knows that these are the three cells that will be changing to define this scenario. And then you can add comments here, customize the protection. In this case, we're preventing users um, from making changes and press OK. So here we go. It's populated with the current values in those cells and we can just modify them to fit our criteria. So percent down is 0.2. Um, Whatever is easier for you, you can type 0.2 or you can actually type 20 percent here. Um, I kind of like that approach a bit better. It's a bit more readable. Um, interest rate in this case is 5% and the term length is 30. So press OK there and it's created our scenario. And now watch what happens when I click this show button. Boom, it's changed that interest rate to 5%. So now those three cells take on the exact values defined by that first scenario we just created. So same process, let's cruise through and add three more. The second one's going to be 20% down at 4% over 15 years, so 20%, 4%, 15, press OK, 20%, 4%, 15 years. All right, let's continue on. This next one's going to be a lower down payment, so only 10% down at 5% over 30 years. And I know I'm moving quickly, so feel free to slow things down to follow along, but here we've got 10. 5%, that was correct, over 30 years, that looks good. And finally, we'll add our fourth here, which is 10% at a 4% interest rate over 15. And press OK, 10%, 4%, 15. There we go. So now we've got our four scenarios defined here. And to quickly determine the impact of each of those scenarios on our output cells, all we need to do is select the scenario and click show. So now check that out. It changed to 20%, 4%, 15. Click the third item, click show, 10%, 5%, 30. And then the last option, 10%, 4%, 15. And every time we change these items, you can see that our cash to close and or our monthly expense calculation change accordingly. So there you go quick demo of using the scenario manager to define preset combinations of cell input values.